Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com. It's a beautiful day outside. We're here on good old narrowboat Tilly as usual. And I thought, well, we're down on the Montgomery Canal, a little stretch about seven miles that branches off the Langoflin Canal in that direction. I thought, well, we're down here. We're at Maysby at the moment. Let's take a look at some of the incredible sights and scenery of this truly, truly rural, peaceful canal. Right. Before we go any further, I'm going to say that I'm recording everything that you're about to see pretty much on a Saturday and there's still not a single boat has gone past and it's now two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, when it comes to people walking past, I think I've seen one dog walker go past since I just moored up here about an hour and a half ago. So let's get out there and let's see why I love this place so much. If we start off with a quick look around at where we're moored, then you can see, as usual, if you're familiar with my videos, this is just the sort of perfect canal scenery that you'll be used to, I'm sure. Moored up boats, humpback bridge at the bottom, and that building there is even a pub. If we hop on board and just enjoy a quick boat trip down on the opposite side of that bridge, you can see when I describe this as a very rural canal, we've got a lot of overhanging trees and overgrown sides, not a single boat in sight. Just a couple of hundred metres away from this point is the absolute end of the canal at the moment. It then dries up for a bit, it's still under restoration, and then opens up a little way down the canal again for what's known as the Welsh Pool Stretch. And then here you can see I'm mooring up at the services just at the bridge from the other side. It's time to hop on the bike and head down the towpath. And that's looking like a beautiful place to head into. This bench is one of those places I've probably mentioned time and time again, just by this incredible old half wooden bridge here, number 78, that before I ever even dreamed of a boat, I'd be biking out to this place. And just look at that. This, as I say, sums up the Montgomery Canal, certainly this top section dropping off the Langoflin. As you can see already, it's just an incredible, really peaceful, really rural, very underpopulated place considering it's such an amazing place to spend time. The only thing that you do get are a lot of helicopters training pilots around. Bridge number 77. Another absolutely classic, super old-fashioned looking, back in the good old days sort of bridge. <laughs> Come down the canal for a little walk. We're underneath this lovely old bridge here, and look who I found just on the other side. Asleep at the side of the path here, we've got one of the local swans. Absolutely amazing, although terrifying and enormous. Got some quality nighttime farming going on. Oh, flipping heck! I did not in a million years expect that we would be seeing a swan tonight. No look at this stretch of the Montgomery Canal would be complete without a look at the Aston Locks. This is the bottom lock, or lock number three, and that swan that we've just seen normally lives in the nature reserve that you can walk around just over there, and that lake you're looking at is the daytime residence of a couple of swans, which is about as stereotypical and beautiful a countryside scene as you could ever ask for. Here's the middle lock, number two, and this is where I've done various uh, filming on passing through locks and my time lapse video that you might have seen. If not, make sure you check out my lock time lapse. It's certainly very amusing at the end. And here is the top lock, Aston Lock number one. And this is not too far from a road and main road bridge that you're about to see, which is just around the corner. But still, what a great place. Right, I think this could be a good moment to answer one of the questions I get quite a lot from American and overseas viewers, and that is, if you've seen my various videos, you'll probably have seen me cutting across fields and walking through crops and all the rest of it, and people ask me a lot, don't the farmers mind, and am I on private land, and all that sort of general question of just exactly what I am up to taking all these ridiculous shortcuts. Well, in Britain, like I say, I don't know what the situation is around the world with this sort of stuff, but we have an incredible network, I mean, goodness knows how many miles worth, of public rights of way. 
and those are marked by these little yellow arrows. So you can see there we've got two which represent the Shropshire Way, which are pointing up and down the towpath, so that's nice and simple. And then this one here is a more general uh, walking route, and that is why there is this very odd style here. You don't see many of these about rather than the ones that just have the piece of wood going across as a step up and over. But that there is pointing straight over and across to those fields and trees there. So you basically are free to wander across, obviously don't stray too far from the path and don't get up to mischief and start trying to camp in the middle of private fields and that sort of thing. So that's definitely not what it's all about. But we're going to just hop over there and I'll show you a few more things like this that let you know various sort of routes and where you should be heading to. Is another one of those very odd little bridges. This one looks like it's seen better days so be careful crossing that. And once again you just follow your way up through the fields. This point here is the least rural stretch of the canal where you do have a proper main road bridge crossover and right on cue we've got a big lorry go past. <laughs> but I think considering what we've seen we can't really complain that there's one point of a proper main road when what have we just been through just the middle of nowhere perfect rural scenery and incredibly silent places a few houses dotted around here and there right this video is going to end at this point but i shall upload another video showing you the incredible stretch up past these bridges and a few rather nice little bits of indiana jones style abandoned canals right let's watch some random footage and end this video as we head down to the lift bridge and turning point at the very bottom end again, I'll say thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos and subscribe for a load more narrowboat life and amazing canal scenery like we've seen in this video. As well, make sure you check out the Facebook page and give that a like. Almost at the thousand now. Incredible. Thank you all so much. And obviously you can add my personal Twitter and Facebook accounts too. And really... Apart from that, just check out my two books, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream, only £1.53 each for the Kindle. And until the next time, have a fantastic day, and I hope I'll see you around soon. Farewell.